Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is Donnie, and you are watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today is part eight of my Diamond Art Club haul, and it's day five of the week, the Diamond Art Club unboxing week. And I have a package here. It's not the conclusion of the one that had um, Angie and Oliver in it that's going to be next, but it came actually, I believe it came actually after that, but it was the next one in line. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Plus I wanted to apologize for my last couple of videos that just sounded awful. You could hear this banging and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. I did figure out what it was. It was my phone stand, which, um, when I put my phone on it, it's uh, obviously overhead. It weighed it down to the point where it would lean into my table and my table what was, was is what was holding it up. So anytime I moved, that pole would bang against the table and make this awful noise. So I took some sand from my daughter's sandbox, filled my sandbags, and now it's weighted down and we shouldn't have that issue. Nope, no more banging. Anyway. Let me get this box started. It's a big one, and it's actually a little too big to be putting on the table completely, so you'll see part of it. Oh, I think I just punctured a bubble cushion thing in there, but that's okay. They did their job. I do reuse them when possible, especially when I have a giveaway coming up. Hint, hint. I have received about six postcards. They were in the box today, and I'm excited to see what, how many are in there by Thursday when I go live again. So yeah, as you can see, this is a pretty big box of stuff. Now that it's open, I'm gonna pull it down so you can't peek. All right. bubble wrap. Oh my goodness, there's so much in here. Alright, so we're going to start with these. And on top of that, there are four diamond paintings. So, I'm going to have to do the quick version when showing these. so that we don't run all night like I did that last time where I wanted to keep it under an hour and I was just barely under an hour. Okay, so this first item is actually a six pack design of Christmas cards. So you get six different designs and you only pay $30. Now that's not bad considering the very first one that I unboxed was $10 by itself. They have since lowered the price on that one. I can't remember which one it was, but um, it's not in this group. Actually, I'm going to check it real quick. All right. The three that you've seen me unbox so far was, this was the first one. I think this one's called Happy Dog. And then I unboxed three penguins. And then uh, my most recent one that I unboxed was at the North Pole. So um, these three are also in this six pack. So I actually have two of each of these now. So I'm not going to unbox those. I'll just show them. So here's one. But I think the other two cost $6.99. So... Um, I paid $24 for these three combined, but, but the price has reduced down to $7 for each of them. So that would still be $21 for three. And this one is, you know, for the six pack, it's $29.99 for six. So it's a pretty good deal, especially if you haven't bought any of them yet. But this way I now have nine cards to send out. Unless, of course, I had tossed in a couple on one of my future orders <clears throat> just because I needed to get over a hump to get free shipping or the like, something like that, you know, 
So I've never sent Christmas cards out in my life, and I think I'm going to actually do it this time. So there is Happy Dog and three penguins, and that was shaking because I just hit the camera. And then we have at the North Pole. So those are all duplicates, so we will set those to the side right there. Now we're going to get into some new ones. Let's start with this one. This one's called Ho Ho Ho. And this is what this looks like. We got the snowflake holograph. Um, the listing, what it looks like on Diamond Art Club looks like this picture here. So I will link this actual direct link for the six for this um, six pack. I'm not sure if they actually have a listing that you can find it if you do a search or if it's just available at the checkout. So if you're interested, there's the link. Look in the description box below the video and you will find the link for this. So you do get a very nice card. This is actually feels a lot thicker than the others, but it probably isn't. It's just my imagination. Lots of room to write stuff. And this one, you actually get to diamond paint quite a bit on it. Uh, you get to diamond paint all of the Santa and his boots and his suckies, the shadow underneath, and the wording ho, 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 and the area around it. So that's a good amount. Teslin did say she wants to help me do Christmas cards tomorrow. So we'll see if she does, actually does. Then you get the nice envelope for sealing it, gifting it, or mailing it. And as I mentioned before, if you do mail this envelope, the diamond painting in this envelope, which is what you would need to for it to fit, you will need to put more than one stamp because it is not a normal size envelope and the postal service will require it of you. You get a basic drill kit. This one doesn't come with baggies which is okay, and you don't get the multi-placer either, but you get the two wax, the squishy, the pen, and the tray. And then you get your diamonds, which this one looks like it has five colors. I'm not gonna pull those out, but they do have your DMC numbers on them. All right. So there's Ho Ho Ho. Oh, squeal. And then we'll look at the next one. I think the la these last three are all designs with Santa on them. Okay, ho, ho, ho. This one is called, uh, this one's called By the Christmas Tree. No. Gifts from Santa. Yeah, this one's Gifts from Santa. Mark it open. Just take a look at it real quick. I'm not going to pull up the envelope. I'm going to leave that in. I'll just pull out the toolkit because I don't need to keep them in there. Here's our drills. We've got three, five colors in this one as well. Looks like there's like three different red colors, a green and a white. Same toolkit. It's pretty neat that they give you a full, almost a full toolkit for each one. And here's this card. So you get to do quite a bit. That's the thing I, I, I do like about these cards is you actually have quite a bit that you diamond paint on them. Um, Santa's hat, his beard, his hair, and the bag, his feet, his all of Santa except for his face. And you actually do uh, his, okay, his mitten that's up here. And then you get to do the words right here for Merry Christmas. And inside, again, 
very large area to write Merry Christmas. And I like this because see what it looks like extended. It kind of continues on to the back of the card. It says, we wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And gotta be careful putting this back in. Make the cover come up. And the last one is called what I said this one was a uh, uh, by the Christmas tree. And that's what this one looks like. I love this sparkle and it's going to really kill me to have to get rid of all my boxes, but I may have to because I am running out of room. So I might have to just hang all my diamond art club canvases up and file away the drills like I do everything else. Toolkit. Wow, this one's got a special drill. It's got that big yellow button with the AB coating on it. This has a lot of colors to it. It has a pink, green, red, another green, another green, and a black, and then this special drop special drill. So there's six colors and a special, which it looks like those go on the Christmas tree as ornaments. Oh, squealing. Wow. It look, it's bigger than it look, what it looks like on here. It doesn't look like it's going to be so big, but yeah, look at that. So you do put them, um, there's one, two, three, four that go on here and one my it looks like it might be no it's not it's the black okay it's just a regular one i thought they were bigger because there were the buttons but uh, i was just looking at it from the side and it looks like anyway so you do all of santa again except for his face and his mouth and you don't do the tie of the bag but you do the rest of the bag and everything else about him and then you do those ornaments and look at that on the back there's even more presents boy if i were in that house when i was a kid i would be in heaven look at all those presents and they're wrapped so nicely lots of room to write all right so those are the six if you're interested in seeing the others that I've unboxed, uh, they are in the playlist, Diamond Art Club, and you will surely see which ones they are. So I have nine Christmas cards and you know, it's something I could probably get done in an afternoon. If I actually had an afternoon to just diamond paint. <laughs> All right, let's go to the first diamond painting. I'm going to go to the first one that I have on my, in my book, the next one on the list. It is called staring into space. Now this is an older one. I know this one's been around for a while. So as you can see, it does not have the snowflake holograph on it, but this is what it looks like. And it's a, you know, it's something I've seen and I never really wanted it until I saw that it was going to be discontinued. And then I decided, well, it is a cat. It is kind of quirky and cool looking. So I'm going to go ahead and get it. And I'm kind of glad I did because like I said, it was on the discontinued list and it is now in, it's now low stock. Um, I actually bought it when they were have they actually put it on sale and it was $9.99, but it is the normal price is $39.99 and that's what it's at now. But when they're out of it, they will not be restock restocking it because they've had to discontinue 
some of their diamond paintings to make room for new ones. Okay, for, for this shipment, I ordered these on October 5th. They shipped October 6th. I received them October 11th. So counting the weekend, it took six days to get to me. And yeah, I used to get them in three or four days, but because they moved their warehouse to the other side of the country, I no longer have that advantage of getting them quickly. Uh, it, this one is a 42 by 42, has 27 colors with one AB, and it's round. And, well, there's a lot of air. i got to take that out anyway. So, this one has a six-placer in it, baggies, and two heart wax. Here's the six-placer. Drill pin, tray, and a squishy. I'm going to hand this over to Jim so he can separate everything. Here are the drills. It looks like it's all black. Oh my goodness. That is not a lot of drills. That's very odd. You'd think it would be. Okay, so the AB is the white right here. I'm not going to pull them out. You can see right there that those are AB drills. But there, there's 27 colors, so there's some blues in there, white, black, dark blues, I'm sure. And let's look at the canvas. I don't know about you, I, and it really doesn't matter, but I, I liked this um, opaque bag. For some reason, I'm able to get them open better, easier. that out of the way. I might pull out the screen, the camera, so we can see it better once we get to some that are possibly bigger. Oh wow, look at that. It kind of looks like my tabby cat that I had. Well, that I do have. What am I talking about? She's still alive. But yeah, there's a lot of black in this, but the background has... Um, a, a, quite a bit of color changes because it's got some color variances in there. You can see it's, man, it kind of hurts my eyes. All those symbols like that. Well, it's just two colors, the Y and that other symbol, which is actually 939. The Y is 823. And that blue symbol is... 939. So 310 is this one up here in the corner. So there isn't actually as much black as there is the 939 and 823. All right, so this is where they had the instructions on the inside. But it's it's not an extremely large canvas. So I mean this isn't one that would take very long. Uh, I think I've got about this much area done on my Halloween nighttime, which it does take me a while to get them done, even if they are round. That's why I kind of prefer round because if it's going to, you know, it's going to take me a while to do no matter what. And squares are going to take me even longer. If I had time to do drill with me, I'm sure I could probably get them done a lot faster. <laughs> Don't fold over on me. And I've actually been keeping the this cover on the diamond paintings um, because of the way I work it. I it's the, it's not a problem, especially since you know, because since the invention of cover minders. <clears throat> anyway, let's see where that AB drill is. Uh, it's going to be number one, the white color, and. Okay, it's his whiskers, the eyebrow whiskers here. I don't know what you'd call them, eye, eye, eyelashes? They're not eyelashes, but there. And then the whiskers themselves on his face. Those are where the ABs are. And that's an interesting place to have an AB. Um, there's also more that go into his face right here, just a little bit. And a tiny bit right there, because it looks like it's a little whisker. And let's see, does he have ear whiskers? He does have 
hair up here somewhat. You know, he's got like a full head of hair, but there are no, the it, number one is not up in here on his ear at all. So it's just the whiskers on above his eye, the whiskers on his face, and that's it as far as I can see. I don't see one anywhere else. And it's pretty, it stands out pretty well, as you can see. And he looks very regal. He looks so serious. But I have a few cat paintings from Diamond Art Club, a couple of them with the hair. So those will go next to each other wherever it is I decide to put them. Maybe one day my cats will have their own bedroom. <laughs> oh, wait, I only have one cat. And yeah, we'll, we'll probably get another one when Teslin is old enough to feed the cat every day. She, that's her chore right now. And sometimes she forgets to feed her. And then we get woken up in the middle of the night because she's hungry. So once she gets her, her responsibilities down, she can have a kitten and then we'll have another one off topic, but then I doubt they'll ever have their own room, but still. That is what we're looking at for Staring Into Space, 42 by 42, 27 colors, 1AB. And let's put this one away, and we'll move on to number two. And I did forget to mention that Staring Into Space, the artist who did that is Eka Ekaterina Kazartseva. I butchered that. I am probably very sure of that. I'm so sorry. This next one is um, sold out right now, but it is worth waiting for, I think, especially if you had anybody that you know who went through breast cancer. Um, it is the Breast Cancer Awareness Ribbon. And here is an image of what that looks like. I was getting all the information on the website for this and I did see that they have written on the page that 30% of proceeds go to California Breast Cancer Research Program from this, the sale of this diamond painting. And it is sold out, but if you look below where it says sold out, there is a box that says email when back in stock. Put your email in there, and they are really good at emailing you to let you know it's back. I've done it several times once I figured it out, because... I was too blind to scroll down a little bit and see that they actually had that option. Now this only has nine colors, but it has two AB and it's 32 by 32 and it's 1999. So it's not bad at all. Pretty darn good. And 30% of the proceeds, like I said, go to breast cancer research. So that's awesome. Same kit. This one has a three placer. And it does have your lovely sticker for kitting it up. Your nine different colors. The AB is a pink. It's number one. Actually, number one and number two. Yeah, it does say two ABs. So two out of nine colors are AB. That's pretty darn good. And um it is round, so I'm going to actually enjoy doing this. It's going to not take me very long at all because it is pretty small. And I actually think I'm going to do this next after Halloween nighttime just to time myself to see how long it'll take me to do something, you know, basically a 30 by 30 with the mesh ruler and multi-placing. And I'm sure this is going to have a lot of color blocking. So, yeah. That will be very interesting. I don't know. I could be wrong. There could be a lot of color mixtures because you can see how the the color, it blends outward to inward. It's lighter and lighter. So we'll see here in a moment. And I think I gave you all the information. 
Yep. Oh, the artist for this one is called B Bokasana. B-O-K-A-S-A-N-A. -A -A. All right, look at that. Yeah, I, I know it was 32 by 32, but seeing this picture it makes me made me feel like it was much larger than 32 by 32. Now, I'm sure their measurements are correct, but I'm just... To show, I'm going to measure this one. And... Let's see... It is actually, it's about 31 and a half. So it is approximate mm, 31.6 actually by 31.6. Um, And let's see, there is still a, a lot of color blocking because there's just a little bit of blending at the edge of each color change here and here too. So the AB colors are going to be the, the scrolling that you see. That is an AB. That's number two. And same with all this. This is all number two, all the scrolling up here. Number one is um, actually in here in the mid middle, kind of the a lighter pink that blends the darker pink into the white. And you can see it going through here and a little bit at the bottom of the ribbon as well. You can see there. And like that. And down in there and as you can see there's number two swirly swirly so because one of the reasons why I'm like I'm challenging myself but another reason is it's only got nine colors so it won't take long at all to kit this up and you know I'm I've still got quite a ways to go on my Halloween nighttime or I would just leave this out, but I'll end up probably losing the drills if I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the box. And when it comes time, when I finish my Halloween nighttime, I'll actually probably work on this and one other one at the same time. <laughs> I know I'm crazy because you know me, uh, how quickly I get things done. <laughs> Not. And see anything else that I needed to go over on this oh we want to look at the drills so nine colors and look, look at those pinks those are so pretty and of course the AB drill is on the inside both of them are one of them is a white 141 should be white yeah that's number two so white goes to, around here and where's the other one? All right, it's this pink here on the end. Yeah, you can see the the shine, that pink right inside there. And then the white that's behind right here. In between the sandwich. So... There we go with our breast cancer awareness ribbon. I know some people um, on YouTube are already working on this or they finished it. And, but you guys know me, I am behind and that's my whole reason for doing this week of Diamond Art Club unboxings so that I can get caught up and I'm not behind anymore. Well, I still have a lot to unbox, stuff that's come from China. And I'm, I'm telling you that stuff's been there for months. And I don't know if I'm missing drills or if everything even came. <laughs> I'm just so bad. So 
eventually I once I get caught up on Diamond Art Club that's my next step is to get caught up on everything else that I've bought and paid for that needs to be gone over and put away all right so that's number two now number three is a new release it came out that week and I didn't show it I believe um, yeah so the breast cancer ribbon and then these next two were both all three they were new releases that week I don't remember which week. Oh, wait, it would have been the week. Uh, October 5th was the early release day, so it would have been October 7th. Okay, so this one is a Hannah Lynn, and this is what it looks like. It's called Dahlia. And she looks more like a just a little girl. She might be a fairy, for all I know, but she doesn't look like a mermaid this time. This canvas is uh, 59 by 42. And I'm going to just make a new clip, so give me one second. All right, so 59 by 42. It's square with three ABs. And so far I'm noticing, I have to go back and verify with every single one of them, but I've been watching for the last few days when I've been doing these unboxings. And so far all the Hannah Lynn's I think are square. Ice Princess might be round. I'm not sure. I, like I said, I would have to go back through and double check just to make a note of that but I wish there were more rounds I know I think I, I know that I'm sh okay I'm sure they're probably trying to make it even you know squares between the squares and the rounds that they're doing but um, I so I remember when they used to give you the choice between square and round and I know it, it makes it a lot more that you have to do to be able to produce a diamond painting in round and square, but I wish we had that option. So this kit is the same. I'm just trying to feel to see which multi-placer it came with, if any. Um, normally they do. It might have gotten missed. I don't feel one in there, but it's probably hiding under something. Okay, it's in the back. It's a three-placer, but it does have tweezers because this is a square. <clears throat> but everything so far has been a round because there's no tweezers. Everything so far today has been a round. First two diamond paintings were round, and actually this is the only square in the bunch, so that to the side. This one is $39.99. And did I say 35 colors? Well, it is 35 colors. Square, AB. Yeah, you've got all that 42, but yeah, I said that twice already. Okay, so now all we got to do is look. I'm guessing this sticker is going to be inside here. Let me move those. I need the room. And this one is a portrait orientation. And there's the sticker. And our instructions. Okay. Yeah, look at all of those colors. And look at that beautiful turquoise aqua colored hair. Yeah, I think she's more of a fairy. It looks like she's, oh, that's her hand. I can't see her ears, so I can't really tell. Okay, so there's our beautiful sticker list. And look at this larger than life face. 
I mean, that is bigger than, that's definitely bigger than my head. And uh, let's see, we've got three ABs, right? Yeah, so um, L down here at the bottom is one, and number one and two, so number two is white, and that's the white of her eyes, and in the center, on both of them. And it looks like, throughout this, dragonfly here. Now this this one actually seems very manageable. It doesn't seem as big as it could be, but just maybe it's the content of it. It doesn't seem as much to do, mainly because it looks like a good 25% of it is her face, which is a lot of color blocking. And I could whip those out, you know, like nothing. But two is all this white in the dragonfly wings and then one and L let's see L is this blue color through her hair that goes through here and and it looks like it's everywhere in her hair and one um yeah one will be a light purple it looks like a tiny bit of it in her lips and then we've got more of it in the butterfly wings. And I think, yeah, there's a little bit over here. And what is that? Let's see. I'm um, not sure if that's a flower. It looks like it's a flower. But I think it's like the dust coming off the dragonfly's wings. That's what that is for. At least the two and the, yeah, both of them. Because there's a two and a one. One's here, two's there, and then the mixture of both right down there at the bottom. So just little specks of it. But look, that's where you're going to find one and two is the wings, the dragon dragonfly, and a little bit in her lips, and then two's all over her hair. So here you can look to see. Or not two, but L. It's a big L. It's white. And it's really in a lot of places in her hair. So she's going to have a lot of extra sparkle to that hair with those ABs. I could sit here and point out every single place, but it's literally everywhere you see this light blue in her hair, that is an AB drill. And there's a little bit in her eye as well. Yep, that's blue as well. So, and that's all there is to this, basically, is, is the girl's face, her hair, and then the dragonfly and a little bit of her skin. And a, a little bit of flowers. But it doesn't appear like there are any AB colors in this flower up at the top. Or in this orange, orange, oh, pardon me, this orangish background. None there. This butterfly here does not have any, but around it, where it separates to her hair, those are AB. So lots of colors, 35 is quite a bit, and 32 of them are regular, and three of them are AB. So let's look at what those AB colors look like. I love that blue though. And wait, I, I'll probably love it even more once I see the colors. All right. Um, I might have to pull them out if I can't find them, but I'm sure these are parts of her hair. So are these. And there's the blue AB for her hair right there. I'm trying to get you to see the sparkle of it. And then white is, you know, regular white, which is right here. I'll open it so we can see it better. Okay, so there's the white. And let's see what number two is. I think it's this pink over here. Uh, 
It's actually kind of hard. Oh, it's the one right underneath it. That's funny. There, so that the pink right there underneath. So there's actually quite a bit of white and pink and that blue. So there's quite a bit of ABs in this one. All right, I'll be right back with our final kit. Okay, the finale is called Daughter of Moonlight, and here is a picture of what it looks like. This one was done by Chibamika Art, and if you couldn't tell, I got this one because it's purple. It's very purple. And it was also $39.99. I can't get this one. It's uh, 47 by 57. Round with, with two ABs. Okay. I don't know why this one's giving me such a hard time opening it. But yeah, all except for that very first one with the cat that's discontinued. They all have the boxes with this. And you know what, as soon as I verify with them, <laughs> I'm going to, I'll probably stop no, mentioning that, hey, look, every single box has the snowflake holograph on it, but I love it. I do. It makes me not want to get rid of the boxes. There's our canvas. There's our drills, pink and purple. Here's our sticker and our toolkit. Same toolkit, three placer, and it's around, so no tweezers. And our sticker kind of got a little squished, but that's okay. This part's perfectly fine, it didn't get damaged. 26 colors. Oh, it says 28 on the website. So there are 26. Let me change that. But there are two ABs. That is right. Okay, let's get into this. So it's going to be 47. Wow, that's, it's pretty wide. Well, it's not too bad. be able to get it all into the screen. Put that out of the way. Okay, and it is started with the top. Ooh, look at all that color blocking in the background. See, on the picture it shows it's pink. So let's hope that's what this color is here. It shows that it is 819, which is kind of a pinkish peach. So yeah, this is the background right here. And our AB colors are one and two. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful that face is. Oh, it looks so much better even through the viewfinder. That's why it's so important to take three, ste three, feet, three steps back or three feet back from the image because what I can see from looking from here is way different than what I can see in the viewfinder. The, my beaming program as to what you guys are seeing. It looks so much prettier when you can see it as a whole and not as little pixels. So one and two, let's see, one I think is a purple and two is a pink. Um, where are we going to find it? Okay, I see one in her eyes a little bit. I'm trying to see if it's in any of this up here. Yeah, there's some one in her hair. Okay. So it's not down the side. A little bit of two right here, but one is running. Okay, this is supposed to be, this line right here is supposed to be just like where the light 
has hit her hair. I thought maybe she had some jewelry up there. But one goes through the bangs here. And there's a little bit of two where the light is reflecting off her shiny hair. And more one around the bangs. And more here, a little bit here. I'm trying to see if there's any like large areas that we're going to find. Okay, but two, you can see two coming down here a bit. Just a little bit, not much. And it's this, there's a lot going on right in here. Um, a lot of color changes and not much color blocking, but there is a little. Right here, there's really, it's mostly confetti. And this is all confetti too. This this background area. I mean, it's it's it's. There's really not any multi placing bigger than a five. It looks like, except for in some spots where you'll get like ten. So color switching is. If you prefer color switching, this will be a good one. There is some twos. Well, there's one two right there but I don't see anything else in the way of the AB in this area. That's really strange. Okay. This, oh, what is this? This engraving work right here in the background. This is all AB. That's number two. So that's going to stand out nicely in that solid background pink. This will be highlighted with those AB drills and it's also down at the bottom. Here's our instructions. So we have the two through here in the great in the engraving area. And so I don't see much of one. There's more two going on in her hair, but the only place that I'm really seeing the one at is in her bangs and her eyes. So there, there probably is just very little of number one and a little bit more of number two, actually quite a bit because of the fact that it's got the engraving and okay. See, I was looking number two is not in this section up top in this part of the triangle. The diamond, whatever. Yeah, okay, it is a little bit. That's why I saw one over here. And there's there's just a couple of them over on this side. And you can see a couple up here. But down here, there's actually um, a bit more of the twos you'll see down in, in this section of it. My husband was supposed to help me do set up my new lighting today. But I think he forgot. Because I forgot, and if I forget, he will definitely forget. Yeah, but there is a lot more of the twos in this section down here. And it's throughout her hair. So that's where you're going to find your ABs in this beautiful Daughter of Moonlight. I, you know, the only thing I don't understand is the horns. But, you know, that just adds to her uniqueness. And then she's got these like gem things on her no on her the bridge of her nose and then oh those are just her nostrils <laughs> never mind I thought maybe she had her nose pierced but then she's got her like this chain around her neck I mean it might signify something but she's really pretty I think she looks really good and I normally don't just like getting pictures of women to put on my wall or to diamond paint, but you know, sometimes if the color speaks to me, then I'm going to do it. But yeah, there's a lot of color blending going on here in the background. Um, let's see. What is that? Those that's looks like it's her earring. Yeah, this is an earring here, but there's ABs around it in her hair. But yeah, I think we got the point with the ABs. So there we go. Those were, these last three were new releases. Uh, the three, about three, 
weeks ago, <laughs> three or four weeks ago, something like that. I'm just that far behind. I'm so sorry. And let's look at the drills real quick. You can peek at those AB drills and you can be on your way to watch another video or go to bed or whatever it is you do after you're done watching YouTube. Uh, let's see. These are really nice colors. I mean, we've got that magenta pink, like a mulberry pink. And then here's the pink AB right here. There is quite a big bag. So that is probably number two. Yeah, because number one is the purple. And it looks like it's right behind it. No, that's not it. It's going to be a small bag, so it's probably hiding in the center. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's this very few in there. Yeah, there's not that much. It's this one right here. It's like a lilac color. I'm trying to see if we can get some of them to... There we go. Yeah, you can see them. Right in here. Those are the other, those are the ABs that'll be in her hair, in her bangs, and her eyes. And of course, 154. I always like this, like, wine color, or whatever people call it. I know it has a name. I just never bothered to look at the actual names of them. But yeah, I'm really liking how much pink and purple were in this order. You know, we've got the Breast Cancer Awareness Ribbon. We've got this um, Daughter of Moonlight. And, well, the Hannah Lynn was more blue. But, so these last two had a lot of pink and purple in them. And I really love that about them. Plus, they're beautiful diamond paintings. So, this covers, this um, wraps up this part eight of um, my diamond art club haul. I do have uh, two more shipments behind me that need to be shown. And I have one diamond paint on it, painting on its way, but I will probably add that to one of them if it comes before I get to them. If not, it'll be completely separate from the haul and it will be um, just a regular Diamond Art Club unboxing. It says it's supposed to be here on the 8th, and today is the 5th, Tuesday the 5th. So, yeah, it says it's not going to be here till Friday. Yeah, that's weird. So I probably will be done with the haul by then, because, I don't know, Thursday is my live, and it will be really hard to do one of these boxes on Thursday because of the fact that um, they're both really big ones, big shipments. And with having to get ready for the video, it is kind of hard to do a large unboxing, but we'll see. We might skip that day if anything, but maybe not. But I hope you enjoyed seeing these diamond paintings that I opened. I know I'm late with showing you and you've probably already seen most of them, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care everyone. Bye. Bye.